Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvis video and maintenance just completed So here's the news that we got after maintenance uh, This weekend you guys will be able to farm for some gil with uh, the gil snapper escape So if you're lacking gil or you want to start building up your gil for the seven star units Well, here's your chance to do so moving on to the next one because we got a little bit of stuff right here or bone Monastery vault. Here's your chance uh, to basically get a little bit more lapis and get a little bit more equipment uh, Beginner exploration you get a hundred lapis beginners quest our side chart ten times intermediate lapis 100 on the exploration uh, Intermediate quest you get inch ancient stone advanced exploration you get a hundred lapis then the advanced uh, quest you're gonna get bugros ore the pro quest you're gonna get our side chart times 50 and the elite you're gonna get our side charts time 100 and this is gonna be a minister mog event so you'll be able to change uh to exchange sorry those shards to the little minister mog right here for some equipment like second wind mitigate stone throw and all these good things uh you'll also be able to get event exclusive equipment the sk if i said that correctly defense plus 36 it's a large shield with uh, undead killer basically will boost your physical damage against reaper monster which is really good uh and you get the shiri g Raden. uh katana with attack 80 with the fire element on so uh you guys notice that mr reagan likes to do fire and ice and having that katana with fire element will actually be good to be able to chain with another character who has fire element so that thing is not bad at all i don't think they're going to be too expensive on uh on the shard so might as well get them if it's free get everything that is free guys i'm telling you get everything that is free uh coming with this we get something really cool if you guys played the story we finally found the boy rain and he's back so right here you'll be able to get awaken rain or medina uh we basically have two five star units on this banner so take that a note we got these two five star this one's a four star he's coming back from the sephiroth banner and shantoro you know she's always been here she's always been here she's not going anywhere uh one thing to be the uh, one thing to be sure one thing that's really cool about this banner you get a free three star trust moogle for awakened reigns or medina's trust master or a four percent uh four star trust moogle all sta uh, all 5% basically with every 10 plus 1 summon. So whenever you do a 10 plus 1 summon, you get a chance to get a 5% Moogle for him or her. Or a 5% 5, uh, 5 Moogle for any character in the game. Which is really, really cool. It's not a step of banner, but that thing is actually really, really nice. Just to build up that uh, li uh, that Limitless. That Trustmaster, because this Trustmaster is actually really, really good. Sorry guys. Um, he's a magic cover tank, so his SPR is really, really, really high. At 244, uh, we're gonna go over his trust master protector of lapis, boost HP by 20% and SPR by 40% and fill LB gauge every single turn. So that thing is no joke. Uh, that's gonna make him even more of a good AoE magic cover tank. He has energy wall, which is basically the move where he covers for the whole party for uh, magic attacks. Armor expertise, boost defense and spirit by 30% when equipped with a light armor or heavy armor. And yes, complete focus, boost own SPR and enable unleashed focus for one turn. Moving on to the next one, Medina. She's basically another 5 star going to 6 star. She's a great mage. She's really high on MP and on magic is actually not that bad. Uh, her trust master, Quintessence. A boost magic when equipped with a rod or a robe and enables dual wielding of single-handed weapons so that thing is really really good it's an ability so right there you're going to be able to boost your magic uh, stats just by equipping this plus you're going to be able to dual wield which is really really nice uh, and the character looks really cool she looks really cool i uh, hopefully we can get her too uh, she has featured abilities dual cast basically use magic twice in one turn rod mastery and she has Eternal Witch, which nullifies sleeps, disease, and stone. Uh, then we have Schilt. You guys probably know him already. He's another AoE magic cover tank. Uh, he's really good at what he does. He's basically like a uh, Mistia. So we're not going to go over him. And Shantoto. You know what? Why not? She's useful, all right? Don't sleep on her. She's actually useful, especially when you're doing the... Uh... Oh, man. The, the, the things we're going to be talking about right now. Uh, these things right here 
the story event the battle of grand shouts so uh collect chris this is where she's useful because let's say you're doing uh you're doing a battle and uh it tells you you need to do fire and ice damage and you need to do lightning and light damage but guess what she has all the magic in the game so if you guys use her she can just cast any magic that you guys need and uh, this way you don't have to change your party every single time you're doing a story so she's actually not that bad for this uh so that's one thing we're gonna talk about after doing the uh the main story for mr uh, reagan we got the second uh second part of the stages if we can say so like they did with nicole which is really really good because now you're gonna get eight different stages and you're gonna be able to farm the chris that you need so let's say you're lacking a lot of power chris well guess what you just do the power chris level over and over and over and over and you're gonna farm up those power chris if you're lacking let's say uh the white chris while well, you just do this one over and over and over and you're gonna be able to farm those chris this thing is really really good thank you for doing that because it makes it so much easier to get the chris that we need so that's gonna be up on uh friday and you're uh no actually event period thursday Th today's thursday the 19th all right so it's it starts thursday so today today's thursday uh, so you guys will be able to farm these as of today. Uh, moving on to the next one. We're going to get a boss fight in the Chamber of the Fallen. Uh, Dad Bomb and Mom Bomb. Uh, the family of bombs is going out with a bang. Could their elemental properties be the shortcut to victory? Maybe. You're letting me know, Koopo. Uh, here's some uh, info. No Non-elemental attacks won't work here. So you'll need a lot of different elements to fight this time. Maybe Shantoto will be good. Who knows? Uh, watch out for when a bomb junior trembles because it will self-destruct on the next turn and bring lots of elemental resistance equipment too. Uh, you guys can think of Rico, uh, Rico, Riku for that with her uh, Hypernol Owl, uh, Bastion from uh, what's his name, uh, Zargavat. Mary could be good here also with her AoE elements, elemental resistance plus the heal when you awaken it. Uh, so uh, lots of things to think about in this fight and we'll see exactly how it goes down and I think this one went live today Yeah, so this one is the 19th today's the 19th because it's Thursday. So this is actually live. We might try it today uh, initial completion reward Bomb engagement ring attack plus 30 fire resistance plus 30 percent ice and water resistance minus 50 percent So take that in note and HP plus 30 percent uh, mission rewards uh, initial clear rewards complete the quest get a hundred lapis evoke an esper you get a 10 percent moogle activate an element chain three times or more in one turn you get a bomb spirit which is an ability reduce ice uh, resistance by 50 percent fills lb gauge every turn and boost fire resistance by 30 percent and uh, defeat mom bomb with a limit burst you get the bomb arms which is another ability Boost own attack and add fire element to own physical attack, which is not bad at all. So, let's see if... They look really cool. I, I find that they look really, really cool. That's so funny. Alright, move on to the next one. Because we're getting one more. Uh, we're getting the Sworn of the Surging Menace. If you guys remember that one, it's basically the fight where you fight, like, I think it's six or seven different bosses uh, in a row. So we're going to go over this right now. Starting today, you guys can uh, take on this uh, beautiful boss. It's not the only one. We're going to be facing other bosses. So make sure to bolster your party's defense and spirit Kupo after it focuses in magic power. Prepare your party's defense to withstand a magic attack Kupo. So here's the info on this guy on the greater demon level 99. So initial completion reward 100 lapis. Bam. Easy. Complete the quest. You get the wizard rod plus so attack plus 22 and magic 125 uh mission completion rewards you get a 10 percent moogle if you use no items evoke and ask for two times or more you get one summon ticket defeat the grievance uh, the greater demon level 99 with a limit burst graviga damage all the enemies for three quarters of your hp why tell me why gumi you put this crap right here after doing all these fights you're putting this Whatever, doesn't matter because we are getting a lot of Lapis and a lot of Trust Moogles. So that thing could actually be good. Uh, I have the page open right here to know exactly what we are fighting. So uh, when you guys do this fight, Greater Demon level 99. Uh, the first wave, you're going to fight a Metal Cactuar. Metal Gigantuar, which is considered a Plantoid. Uh, he's going to have 15,000 HP. 
and uh, 16,000 defense. He has 11,101 and 11 spirit. Uh, he's immune to attack, defense, magic breaks, and he's vulnerable to stop. So take that a note. Uh, wave 2, you're going to fight a bomb and a balloon, which uh, there are demons. They have uh, 25 defense and 40 SPR. They're 100% resistance to fire and they're 50% in peril to ice. So take that a note. You can break their attack, defense, magic, and spirit. Uh, immune to non-elemental attack. So make sure whenever you're attacking this guy, you have to do an element to be beat him up. Uh, the balloon, which you're fighting also in that fight, is 100% resistant to fire. Basically the same stats, uh, defense and spirit 2540. Uh, he's immune 100% to fire, he's weak 50% to water, uh, same thing, you can break his attack, defense, magic and spirit, and he's immune to non-elemental attacks. Moving on to the third one, because there's a third uh, wave, the Searcher and Io, so machines, you're fighting the little, little robots, uh, lightning damage, he's gonna absorb everything, so make sure you do non-lightnings, and he's 50% uh, in peril to uh, stone and uh, the little one is basically 100 uh, 100 defense and 30 spr so you guys can do a lot of magic damage so bring your mages uh i'm seriously thinking of shan total right here because she could be really really good uh immune to spirit breaks so you can't break his spirit and he's vulnerable to attack defense and magic break and he's also vulnerable to stop the big one the uh io or elo the big robot you're going to be fighting he's uh he's going to absorb any type of lightning damage is a hundred percent resistance to wind damage so make sure you do no wind and he also is also in peril 50 percent to uh earth or stone uh his spirit is at 45 his defense is at 250 he's in, he's vulnerable to attack and magic breaks but you cannot break his defense and spirit on wave four i know it's a lot of things guys but i just want to go over it just in case you guys want to try to do it on wave four you're gonna fight the archi tooth whatever the uh like uh octopus that they're always using the same octopus uh defense 200 spirit 65 he's 50 percent in peril to lightning he's gonna absorb uh water attacks and he's 100 percent in peril to stone he's vulnerable to attack breaks that's the only thing you can break and you cannot break his defense magic and spirit so take that in note that you won't be able to break his defense and spirit uh also the tentacles are 50 percent in peril to uh, fire is gonna absorb water 100% in peril to 100% uh, uh, resistance to stone and same thing is vulnerable to attack breaks and immune to defense magic and spirit breaks so having an AoE uh, breaker like warrior of light or Bosch could actually be really really good is uh, the tentacles defense is 110 and the spirit is 45 and the last fight where you're fighting this big giant dude uh, the greater demon He's a demon, obviously, in his name. He has 35 million HP. He has 100,000 MP, 600 attack, 115 defense, 500 magic, and 60 on the spirit. Uh, he's weak. He's in peril 50% to light damage. So that's pretty good. He's 100% resistance to dark. Uh, you cannot put any status ailments on him. He's vulnerable to attack breaks, and he's immune to defense, magic, and spirit breaks. So that's all the info we got on this big giant fight. So it's a five wave uh, battle. So make sure you're prepared for all these waves and make sure you have all the elements to cover on this fight. Guys, that's all for the news. If you are new to this channel, please consider it leaving a like down below on this video and subscribing for more content uh, that is coming your way when you subscribe here. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys are going to be... Uh, if you're pulling for rain, sorry. Hopefully, you will be able to pull him tomorrow. He's going live. I'm going to try my luck because he looks really cool. And we finally found rain. After all this time, we finally found him. Guys, like I said before, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.